Hey, all you viewers to be named later, how we doing today? Yeah, I know, another one by Kanku. Like I said a little bit ago, I bought a bunch of them when I had a rather intoxicated Amazon shopping night. But I gotta tell you, honestly, they have a good bang for their dollar. You know, if you're looking for a beater blade or one you can give to friends and go, hey, do you have one? You know, that kind of stuff. But still, today we're going to take a look at the Kanku C56 blah, 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 everything folding knife. Now, I found out recently, and I never would have thought about that. They give these things that long of a title so they can market them in different areas. But here it is. It is a big, beefy pocket knife. You know it's there. I liked the look of it with the olive drab scales and that black kind of stone washy finish that it has. I thought to myself, okay, for the price, it's not a bad one to add to my collection. I will say for the record, I do not know if it's a clone of anything. It's Kanku. It's a good bet it is somewhere. So let's get into the overall fun like we always do. It's got an overall length of about 8.0 inches. The blade's about 3.6 and clothes we're looking at about a 4.5. I know those numbers don't totally add up, but it's roughly around those. It comes in at about 5.20 ounces. Now, <sighs> you can call this either a drop point or a clip point. Your choice. I've seen it described both ways online when I did some looking because you cannot find these anywhere other than Amazon. All right. We got a plain edge with kind of like a flat grind, I believe it is. You know, I'll let you judge. I don't think it's hollow, but I'm betting it's flat. Now, <laughs> they say it's D2 steel. Okay. We're not going to get into that. If you believe it is, great. If you don't think it is and you think it's another trash steel, okay. I'm fine with that. But they have it listed as D2. I did a PMI test on a blade by another company. It turned out it was not. But I had to be reminded recently that D2 used to be a super steel that everybody wanted and you paid extra for. But nowadays, with better technology, better science, better everything, D2, the price point has come crashing down low. So it could be D2. I'm not going to bet my last penny on it, all right? We do have a stainless steel frame with that liner lock. Now, it does have a flipper open, and they say it's got a ball bearing system in there because it opens up a lickety split rocket quick. And um, yeah, I have yet to disassemble it, but I do like the fact that they have basically your flat head screws on the pivot there. So that's going to make disassembling a lot easier one day when I have to, plus the usual, you know, the star drives. Okay. Now, like I said, we do have dual, as they call it, Army Green G10 scales. You can also find them in black, gray, or blue. We do have a lanyard hole, and yes, surprisingly, it's made in China. All right, now let's do some cut tests like we usually do. Now, why are we doing these three? Take a look right up top in that corner. There's going to be a card for why we do these cut tests. All right, first up, come here. Heavy-duty stock paper. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can get a curly cue. Well, it just kind of looks wants to bite into that paper. But uh, it's going a little. Like right there at that beginning. Or this started to turn back in. So, okay. Not a lot of snowfall that I'm seeing. So, all right. Now, the big reason why I like to try to get a curly cue is anybody can just grab your paper and go whoosh, sharp. But if you drag it across it nice and slow and maintain that edge, or I should say that angle, that paper should start to turn, ah, turn back into itself and give you that little curly cue. But moving on. Man, we got something kind of cool today. That's right. All that black is gone. That sounded bad, but you know what I mean? That black paracord dash is finally gone. Like I said recently, you would know when a new color shows up. So now let's pick on some orange. All right. This is going to be... All right. I'm laughing because right in the middle of the pull test, the camera took a dump. So I'm also laughing because, yeah, that's a lot harder trying to get it through there than it should be. Could be the blade. I don't know. Let's go with the slice. 
went through that, no problem, and it looks somewhat clean, too. I just come on the first one since that black paracord is gone. And it's a struggle test. Shut up, Bill Rivers. You, just, just, just shut it, Bill. I know you got something, and I can't wait for the comments. Mr. Ratchet Strap. It almost sounded like it ripped, but yeah, went through. All right, let's check the usual stuff. Obviously, someone's running a grinder out there. <laughs> I don't really see anything on the blade itself, so yeah, and two camber dumps. We're going to set a record with this. Like I said, one way it feels really sharp, the other way, not so much. So, okay, up here it's not bad, but yeah, but still. All right, I did the homework and all the fun stuff on this thing on September 15th, 20... 2021. It is now, oh, wow, I just did that last night, sorry, September 16th, 2021. And, yeah, there's only one place to buy it, that's on Amazon. It's going to run you $19.99. It is Prime eligible. It's been reviewed 47 times for a 4.5 out of 5 star rating. Whew, okay. Not a good way to start off with new cord, but still. I want to know, and this is the best part of the video, your <gasps> questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, all that fun stuff right down below. I also want to know if you think this one's a noise or an F-bomb. Noise or an F-bomb. I will say for the price point, I'm okay with what I spent on it. I'm a little bit upset that one, egg, once, one part of the bevel seems really good, the other part doesn't. But that's just me. So, I gotta say it like this. If I made you laugh at any point during this video or possibly even taught you anything, like what not to buy or, you know whatever give me a big old thumbs up it's only gonna help trigger that algorithm and help get this channel out to other people and you know i'd be really really appreciative of that it's really free I'm not gonna cost you a penny just to hit that big old thumbs up now for you first time viewers of my channel i just want to say hey thanks so much for watching this video look we do things really differently here on the channel and i'm very very glad that you came along for this ride hopefully i earn more gonna be one of those days third camera down what can I do to earn your subscription? Why don't you leave me a comment right down below. After you've done all that fun stuff, please look right there. Or I should say right there in that corner. You're going to see a big channel symbol popping up. I'm speeding through this to see if we don't have a fourth camera up. You're going to see a big channel symbol popping up here in just a moment. Go ahead, click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've killed that thing, please destroy the bell icon. Why? Great question. Because it's going to notify you. It's going to let YouTube notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of those videos that we love so much on YouTube, maybe not so much this one with all the camera dumps. Two will be popping up right over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my current catalog that they feel is going to be a great viewing experience for you. <gasps> there we go. All right, guys. There we are. My quick tabletop look at the Cancun C56 folding knife. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are having a great day, a safe day, and I'll see you in our next video.